Wow, that's such a cool flare. How do you how do you get that? Oh, I don't know. Oh, wait. A uh, Twitch Prime sub or a Tier 1 sub at twitch.tv forward slash Odo. Thank you. Enjoy the video. Howdy, y'all. My name's Doe, and I'll be talking about how to farm Heroic Plus behemoths such as Rizakiri, Heroic Koshai, and Shroud in this video using the sword. So if you guys don't know, there are a couple reasons to be farming Heroic Plus. For one, you can get Peerless Arcstone from these bosses, which is used to upgrade gear from plus 10 to plus 15. On top of that, Heroic Plus bosses drop the most Hunt Pass XP stuff. It's a, They're like... What, what are they called? They're Arid Shards, that's what they're called. They drop the most value for your Arid Shards. They, they give you 30 Hunt Pass XP per Arid Shard. And the reason this is happening is because Arid Shards are now based on threat level, which there are five different threat level ranges you can get Arid Shards for, but the last three are the most important to me. So if you're in 8 through 12 threat level, you get 18, 13 through 16, you get 24, and 17 plus, which is Heroic Plus, you get 30 Arid Shards. I'll leave a little chart because it can be a little confusing since there are, you know, number ranges now, but that is how this works. So Farming Heroic Plus gives you a host of benefits if you can pull it off successfully. It lets you progress your in-game gear, lets you get Hunt Pass XP for those sick cosmetics, all this kind of stuff is why it's pretty good to farm Heroic Plus. Now, you shouldn't be farming these kind of bosses if you do not have the correct gear. If the fights are taking you forever, I suggest farming other bosses like just Heroics to get good enough gear to fight them. But if you feel like you can handle the challenge, well, uh, I got a build for you that works on a lot of behemoths, including Heroic Plus ones. It's fine time for the build talk, and for the build, I have the Inferno's Razor as my weapon, which this sword is very good in Heroic Plus because it's not weak to any behemoth. And the cool thing is, this weapon is actually strong against Koshai because Koshai is weak to fire, and ergo, a Hellion weapon is pretty good against Koshai. It's a pretty good bet to bring it, gives you a bit of extra power to do a bit more damage. And while we're on the topic of damage, I do have, you know, the meta cells, Overpower, Predator, Rage Hunter. I have a bit of conduit for attack speed. And on top of that, a cell I do have, which I normally don't use, is plus six sharpened, which to be clear, does not give you more actual damage versus a behemoth. It does not give you true damage versus a behemoth. It only helps you break parts, which is kind of the whole point of this build. And that is to farm heroic plus while getting as many part breaks as possible and not being stuck in there for 10 to 20 minutes, which 20 minutes is an exaggeration, of course, but you can be in there for six plus minutes when you don't have to be. So because of that, I have really good meta cells, and I also have sharpened to basically help me farm parts very quickly. Which I think for every single hunt, I was getting around four part breaks, maybe five, and the hunt times were around four minutes, using no potions, no pylons, just the build. When I did use potions, I got like a three minute Koshai, or a sub three minute Koshai, and a decent-ish spawn. It was not the best spawn in the world, but it wasn't the worst either. So. This build can serve to do a pretty good job at farming Heroic Plus in a quick time and also getting a decent amount of part breaks to hopefully get some arid shards for the hunt pass. Now, say you don't like doing Heroic Plus if the fights are too hard, if you don't have the gear for it, if you're just not there yet, I will be leaving a variation of this build in the description that doesn't require any parts from Heroic Plus behemoths that can still do a pretty good job at breaking parts and getting quick kill times using the Hellion Sword and maybe the Boreas Sword as well, since the Hellion Sword is really good on behemoths that aren't strong against fire, so don't use the Hellion Sword on fire behemoths if you can help it. It's not the end of the world if you do, but it's just not the best option if you're trying to do that kind of thing. I would instead suggest using the Onus of Boreas, which is the Boreas Sword on fire behemoths instead. I'll probably be leaving a build for that too in the description, but guys, thank you all for watching the video. If you liked it, leave a like, it helps out the channel and me greatly. If you want to subscribe to the channel for dollars content and check me out on Twitch because I stream there pretty pretty regularly Wednesday th Wednesday through Saturday from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Central and I also have a Epic Game Supporter Creator Code which is called you know my name it's Odo if you use that when you buy when you make purchases in the Epic Game Store it helps me out a lot and I greatly appreciate it but again y'all thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one peace.